Hi, I'm Dr. Divya Fernandez, consultant cardiologist and heart failure specialist at Aster RV Hospital, JP Nagar, Bangalore. Today, I would like to talk upon a topic which is affecting millions of people worldwide and especially in India, heart failure. The term heart failure may sound scary, but it is not that your heart has stopped working, your heart has stopped pumping. No, heart failure means your heart is not pumping as well as it should. The heart is not pumping enough blood so that it reaches each and every part of your body. So heart failure can occur when the systole or the contraction is affected or when the diastole that is the filling or the relaxation phase is affected. The most common cause of a heart failure is because of a heart attack. Heart attack is also called ischemic heart disease or coronary artery disease. Another cause of heart failure which we commonly see in India is hypertension or high blood pressure. Other causes of heart failure are cardiomyopathies that is diseases of the heart muscle. These can be genetic, inherited or it can be because of an infective cause like viral infections commonly seen now, nowadays during the pandemic, uh, during COVID-19. There is a special kind of cardiomyopathy which is seen in late forms of pregnancy. This is called peripartum cardiomyopathy. So it is seen in the late term of pregnancy and immediately after delivery. Other than this, we have other things like irregular heart rate, where the heart rate can go very fast and very irregular. These are called arrhythmias. This can cause heart problems. There are other causes like thyroid disorders, severe anemia and iron deficiency, drugs abuse, cocaine, amphetamine, alcohol abuse. One of the main symptoms is because of decreased blood coming out of the heart, the person becomes extremely weak and extremely tired. He is unable to walk a few steps without getting tired. The second feature which we generally see is breathlessness or shortness of breath. Another symptom which we see in heart failure patients is swelling almost all over the body. The swelling is due to fluid retention in the body. So the most common test what we do in a patient who comes with heart failure is to do an ECG, electrocardiogram. This will give us an idea if the patient already has had any heart problems like a heart attack or hypertension, high BP for a long time. Another test is called a chest x-ray. So the chest x-ray will tell us if the heart size has become big. Is this something which is chronic for a long time? And also the fluid status in the lungs. Is there congestion in the lungs? The other test which is one of the most important tests in heart failure patients is an echocardiogram. This will tell us how is the blood flow in the heart chambers? Is the heart pumping well? Has any wall of the heart become weak? Has the patient already have a heart attack? Is there any valve problem? Is there narrowing? Is there leakage? So all this we can make out during an echo. Like all diseases, treatment of the root cause is the most important thing. So if the cause is due to an ischemic heart disease or a heart attack, doing a coronary angiogram and finding out if there is a blockage in the arteries causing the heart failure is one of the best ways. So in case in the angiogram it shows that there is a major block, clearing the block by doing an angioplasty with a stent or a bypass surgery will be a solution. The heart functioning can return to normal. The second way is treating the risk factors. Patients who have high blood pressure, hypertension, diabetes, obesity and uh, smoking, so all this has to be reduced. A heart healthy lifestyle should be followed. Increase in fruit intake, increase in vegetable intake, decrease your refined carbohydrates intake, decrease the amount of salt what you take, do not take any extra salt on the table. In patients who have heart failure, because of fluid retention, we tell the patients to restrict the amount of fluid, especially around to one and a half to two liters per day. Along with this, exercise is an important part. About 30 minutes of any form of exercise, preferably aerobic, but any exercise is okay. 30 minutes for five days in a week should be good. Later, we come to the medications. There are certain medications which improve the blood flow in the heart failure patients and because of which once the blood flow improves, the contraction can improve. In spite of all these medications, if things do not improve, we look for other methods of treatment. They are called devices. The heart rate, if it is very low, the patient may require a pacemaker. If the heart rate is very fast, very irregular, to bring down the heart rate to normal, we will put a small device below the collarbone here and send two wires inside the heart. This small device immediately detects that the heart rate is going very high and delivers a shock automatically. 
the patient becomes normal after that so this can be done this is called an icd or an implantable cardioverter defibrillator there is another specialized pacemaker which is called cardiac resynchronization therapy or crt so once we put these wires we fix it in such a way that both the ventricles the lower chambers beat at the same pace and together because of the synchrony the symptoms of heart failure improve lot of patients improve significantly there are other surgeries like bypass surgery or open heart surgery where you can uh, revascularize that part so that blood supply is restored so a bypass surgery can be done valve surgeries which require the valve which is narrow or which is leaking valve surgeries can be done but in spite of all this if they keep coming back recurrent admissions happen we suggest certain specialized surgical devices which are called ventricular assist devices the only option which we can give a patient in the end is cardiac transplant cardiac transplant is being done all around the world a good number of uh, positive response is seen in heart transplant patients at astad rv we have a dedicated group of cardiologists who are well experienced we have a good team of cath lab technicians the echo technicians we have a separate heart failure clinic dedicated to patients who have heart failure symptoms so that these patients are given priority before they develop anything major thank you